else, huh? Yes. Okay, I want you to check in with me once a week and call me anytime. I feel great. Physically, you're fine, but most implant patients don't have access to their past history the way that you do now. Don't try to catch up on that too fast. It could be harmful. Harmful how? <sighs> what you learn is objective truth. Facts about yourself as an outsider might see or understand them. It could be at odds with memories that are repressed. Well, I've made my choice. I'm not anxious to learn about events that I really had no control over, so... We've given you polysynaptic blockers. But sometimes, you don't have a choice. Associations will bring back memories. Good luck. Supervisor Phil, you better have a look at this. Yes, what is it? We were wondering about this valve here. It's the diphosphate intake for tank 12. Sure, you'd know that, but you do see the problem, don't you? I'm afraid I do not. Would you point it out to me? Sure, Phil. It's right there. What? It's a paint blister, I think. I'm afraid I do not. <clears throat> here to point it out to me? It's all yours. That's enough. Let's get out of here. Put this in the bedroom for you. Thanks. I'm gonna make some tea. You want some? Yeah, sure. Do you have to go back into work today? Uh, whenever you're settled. You all right? Uh-huh. How about you? No. I can tell. Too much happened too fast for me. I just want you to know that I didn't remember anything about recall or Nexus. I was spying. Brand. I can get past Brand. It's the other things I'm having trouble with. 
the home videos of your father. The pictures of a little girl you told me were you. That everything I know about you is, for lack of a better word, a lie. How do you think I feel? Probably a lot like me. That whatever we have doesn't belong to us. It was, it was just on loan. No, David. Our time here together was not a lie. The whole time that we've spent together, you've had this thing in your head. Now they tell me you weren't spying on me. How do I know every time Recall showed up someplace, it wasn't because you gave him a call first? Because I'm telling you. Oh, you know. You're sure? You heard the surgeon. She said... Yeah, I heard what you said. You think I trust that? How do I know someone didn't plant those ideas in her? I don't know. Don't you see? There's... There's people out there that can manipulate everything we see, everything we hear. You're the one I thought I could... thought I could talk to without having to look over my shoulder. No, that's not real. And I'm starting to think I'm gonna have to live without that idea. You see, I ain't doing too good either, and maybe, maybe I'm just going a little crazy over all this, I don't know. No. You're just telling me how you feel. You really want to know how I feel? I feel like putting on my coat and walking out that door. Where would you go? It doesn't matter. That's ridiculous. I need time. I need to get clear again. Well, I don't want to be here alone. So I should go. Where are you going to go? Huh? Uh, Olens. She's a, a doctor, and I need care. She's a CPB officer, so I'll be safe. Please do not bring her into this. Uh, no. Don't you tell me that. This isn't right. I should be the one to leave. You don't have anywhere to go. I'll just get some of my things. And I'll go. See, they really bang the bolts out of this poor droid. Do you have any idea what a new Delta goes for these days? There's not enough of this data storage left to recover any memories of who might have attacked him. Well, I can tell you who did it. Belisarius' is thugs. His outfit, muscle and blood, they supply our human labor. And they want more of their people hired, so this, uh, this sabotage, this destruction of my company's valuable property is nothing more or less than extortion. Do you have any evidence Belisarius is involved? Well, no! They covered the security cam lens. It went dark about 15 minutes before the end of the shift last night. How long has Muscle and Blood provided you with human labor? Belisari started pressuring me about four years ago to start hiring his people. I used to use an all-android workforce, you know, Deltas, a few Betas, all straight from Uber Brown. These were androids with an expert system and a specialty chemicals knowledge base? Yeah, yeah. The place ran like a clock then. Why bring in laborers you don't want? Just because a job can be done by a machine does not mean it should be. Muscle and blood slogan. I saw it every day. They picketed my plants, harassed my suppliers and customers. They hurt my business so bad, I had no choice. I had to use their people or fold. I don't fold. Muscle and blood primarily supplies unskilled workers, correct? Primarily. They supply exclusively morons and incompetence when, when they're not sending out thugs. I mean, you saw that, Delta. I I'll be lucky to salvage a couple of lock washers out of him. All right, well, 
We'll do a follow-up and we'll be in touch. You talk to that runt Belisarius. You tell him. I'm only going to be pushed so far, the little bastard. I cannot operate this plant safely without skilled android supervision. You tie Belisarius to this and I got all the reason I need to kick him and his people out in their asses. So it'd be worthwhile, this android's destruction, if you could eliminate your human labor. Are you suggesting I had something to do with this? I wrecked my own android. That's what I'm asking. Well, the answer is I had nothing to do with destroying that Delta. We'll be in touch. Let's hope so. This is Belisarius' office, remember? Not Mr. Belisarius, just Belisarius. And why is that? Belisarius likes to say one name is enough if it means something. His does. Go right in. He's expecting you. Thanks. You're welcome. Tells me you're here about a wrecked android. That's right, Detective David Hume. This is my partner, Ian Farm. I suppose I should offer you something to drink. Not necessary. How about a shot of Vendorf? 100% human derived. Removed by electrophoresis from the blood of young marathoners. Nothing for me, thanks. No, thank you. You sure do like having your picture taken a lot. <laughs> well, some people are impressed. I've been on a first name basis with the last seven leaders of our civilization. But there's nothing particularly impressive about a civilization in decline, totally dependent on machinery. Please, sit down. Thank you. Mr. Belisarius, as you say, we are here to discuss the destruction of the Delta Android last night at Indol Ring Chemicals. How is my old friend Meadows? Still telling the inspirational tale of how he built up his little company from scratch? Still moaning the fact that he has to employ a few human beings? Your old friend claims you've been pressuring him into hiring your human labor. Yes. I forced him to act in a socially responsible manner. If we human beings don't work, we'll lose the skills we need to run the industries essential to our survival. We'll be reduced to, to helpless infancy, dependent on machines for everything. You may well have a point there, but at this time, we're just investigating a little case of industrial sabotage. Well, I'll admit Mr. Meadows and I may have had some ongoing dispute, but neither I nor muscle and blood would countenance criminal behavior. Can you describe the, uh, the nature of that dispute with Mr. Meadows? Yes. I want him to put some humans in, in supervisory positions. Men and women need to feel a degree of control and responsibility in the workplace. Right now, every human in his plant answers to an android. Mr. Meadows maintains that the workers provided by muscle and blood are untrained and therefore unable to assume a supervisory role. Well, then let him train them. Look, my people are no angels. They simply haven't had the, the opportunity and experience that they deserve, that all human beings deserve. Would they happen to have enough experience to attack and destroy a Delta supervisor? It's possible. I deeply regret it, but it's possible. Look, some of my people are hotheads. They resent deeply taking orders from androids. If some of your people were responsible, will you help us identify them? No, that I will not do. What I will do, and have done, is to move some of my more excitable people to the late shift. And I've agreed with Meadows to pay him for the Delta. But only what it costs. This is a property matter, Detective. Androids are not human beings, according to the law, not yet. Never will be, if I can help it. Well, if Meadows accepts your offer, then this seems to be settled. If there's a problem, we'll, um, we'll be in touch. Marge! A memento of our meeting. You nut.
Seven of my people were killed, murdered in this plant last night, Meadows. I want to know why. And I want to make sure you do right by their families. You want to blame the company and extort a financial settlement. Am I right, Belisarius? Well, we don't even know what happened yet. We know that your plant leaks sufficient quantities of gaseous organophosphates to kill everyone working the 12 to 8 shift. Everyone human. What are you suggesting? Where is the Delta supervisor in question at the moment? I got to the plant half an hour after the leak. He wasn't here. I put out a call on the company net priority, but I haven't heard from him. He might still be out here in the plant damaged somewhere. I, I don't know. Can we see some copies of the movement logs for the time of the accident? Right. What are we seeing here? The yellow diamond indicates the position of the Delta supervisor on duty last night. Where are the people? This only tracks droids. I don't understand. There's no reason for him to be on the second level catwalk at all. The number two cat cracker was the only one we had up last night. Well, I'd say it's convincing. I mean, the android deliberately released the gas. And you're responsible for that, Meadows. So you're not to blame. I can tell you right now that I had difficulty believing my own people when they told me that your deltas were behaving abnormally, maliciously. We will need copies of these movement records. Have the Delta specs downloaded to the CPB. If you find them, let us know immediately. I, I just can't believe a Delta would do something like this. Hello. How are you feeling? Fine, hi. I didn't expect you back until tonight. I came to check on my patient. And I realized that uh, you wouldn't find much to eat in my cupboards. And yeah, not unless I made it with your chemistry set you've got in the fridge. It's macrobiotic. Is that what that is? Don't drink that. It's good for you. I can tell the way it tastes. Knowing what they put in our food nowadays, I like to be careful. You know, I tried the purple one. I thought I was going to throw up. I'm surprised you didn't. That one's actually a lab sample. What? Just kidding. Bitch. <laughs> you are lucky you've got me here because I'm going to make you eat real food like a real person. Uh-huh. Well, I think I'm going to enjoy having you around. Here's to old times. You drink the blue stuff. Thank you for the place, for you. Well, it beats that dive we lived on on 3 South when you were starting at Uber Braun and I was at the Academy. Hey, did that bring up some bad memories for you? No. No, those memories are fine. <sighs> it's just the first. 25 years of my life that I'm having a little trouble with. I'm sorry, I'm just feeling a little shaky. Hey, your entire world was turned upside down. You're entitled. Are you scared? You're gonna get through this. Yes. I am. Is it awkward for you? At work with David, I mean. Not for me. Good. Because I don't want it to be. I can handle it, Olivia. Compared to what you two are going through, I consider myself lucky. And knowing how crazy you two are for each other, you're not going to be my guest anywhere near as long as I'd like. Thanks. I see you didn't miss your cue to enter, Rich. <laughs> no way, Gary. Hey, what are you cooking up in the big pot on the table? Self-heating bar-style chili. <laughs> okay, this is all of them except the one who was on duty last night. That's his uh, was... bay down there, Supervisor Nine. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard flatulence in my day, but that's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know, some jarhead at Uber Braun dreamed this up. It was 
Supposed to social engineer the androids to make them fit in better with the human workers. For a second there, I thought you were one of those perverts. <laughs> Not with girls. Listen, I'm gonna take one more scan for Supervisor 9. I'll be in the repair area if you need me. <laughs> God forbid you should break your skin. <laughs> You'd find this amusing fart? I am not a Delta, David. That's what makes <laughs> different from those freaking androids. Excuse me. I don't believe androids could watch. <laughs> yes? How may I assist you? Do you know where we could find the Delta assigned to spot nine? <laughs> Fast act. <laughs> I think we could speed this process up if we turned off the vidcom. Please turn off the monitor. Can you tell us where to find the occupant of spot nine? I'm not aware of his whereabouts. When'd you last see him? He performed a quick charge at his slot last night. He departed the bay at 11.19.32. Almost immediately after the gas was vented. You find that funny? David, I don't think we're going to learn anything more here. No. Excuse me? Yeah? Have we permission to resume the entertainment that was interrupted? Knock yourself out. <laughs> yes, Ola? I've got a report of a rogue android. Might be the Delta supervisor you're looking for. Location's loading on your GPS. Thank you. They were happy on Mars. Now you can be too. Come on. Well, the Deltas we have seen so far have been acting in any way suspiciously. The report said a disoriented android wandering at large. Would that include no pants? This is the correct level and tier. Do you think this is dashing? Would spruce be the word? Excuse me, we're investigators with the CPB. We'd like you to come with us. Can't you see I'm shopping? I think that's going to have to wait. But I can't miss the, the extra pair of pants for the extra dollar. Excuse me, I meant your heart. CPB, get down. <laughs> Trouble, I cannot explain that. Perhaps we can help you with that. I'll also get you some pants. Let's go. Would appear to be a few bits short of a bite, my friend. confirms that you are Delta Supervisor Android number nine, assigned work name Mike, property of Indole Ring Chemical. Well, no, Mike, no, that's not me. I'm getting a makeover. I am, I am going to be Sebastian. Okay, Seb, let's go this way. Is the restraining bolt okay? I don't want to pull any more of that crap in here. It is fine. Catch up with you. So what's the deal with the Delta? Hasn't been established yet. How are things? Good. Fine, like always. Nothing's changed, David. Nothing. Thanks for being there for her. Well, what else to say? I just can't get into this with you right now. Fine. This is between you two. How is she? She's okay. Why do you keep referring to yourself as Sebastian when we have established that your work name is Mike? 
I'm having trouble accepting my own recollections. Technical problems? Not entirely. When did you begin to feel that you were not Mike, that you were Sebastian? I wanted... I didn't want to be Mike. I wanted to be not Mike. Is that why you're buying the clothes, trying on the hair pieces? I thought I could be Sebastian. Sebastian wouldn't do what Mike did. Sebastian is not Mike. What did Mike do? It's true that I'm Mike? Yes, you're a Delta supervisor android. You have a chemical productions knowledge base. You're the property of Indole Ring Chemicals. Your work name is Mike. There was an accident. Yes, a serious accident. Human workers, they died in the accident. A gas leak. Yes. What do you know about it? I would ask permission to decommission myself immediately. Refused. What do you know about it? Mike, I was responsible for venting the lethal gas. It was a deliberate act on my part. I cannot explain how this could be, but my recollection is clear. I must be decommissioned. I must be damaged. A Delta who believed himself responsible for the deliberate destruction of human life would find his actions inconceivable, refusing to accept his own identity. The irrational attempt to create a new persona, Sebastian, is consistent with an attempt to avoid an unacceptable certainty of guilt. Could he have wanted revenge for the destruction of another android? Deltas are not capable of empathy on that level. Therefore, I am not a Delta. Therefore, I am not Mike. Perhaps I am Sebastian. If not, then go to activate random persona er error level unacceptable. That'll do, Mike. Wait for instructions. I have checked him for viruses. There are none present I can detect. There are irreconcilable conflicts in his instruction set. His attempts to resolve them create recursive logic loops. The behavioral instability is an outwardly apparent symptom. How reliable is his memory? I do not know. However, it is his recollection of his actions which is creating his current difficulty. Mike, describe the actions you took which resulted in the deaths of the human workers at Indole Ring Chemicals. I coded in at panel two, then activated the Meyerdole transfer to the primary holding tank facility. When it was at pressure, I descended the catwalk to the Activan lever release valve, which I had set to the open position. The result was creation of heat and venting of lethal gas. Why? Why'd you do that? I do not know. I have sustained unknown damage. I must ask to be decommissioned in order to prevent further danger to human lives. Denied. You will not be decommissioned and you will not decommission yourself. The incident is under investigation. Acknowledge compliance. I will comply. It is not advisable. I will comply. Let's go see the lieutenant. It is not advisable. It is not advisable. I will comply. Mike, your responsibility for the accident has not yet been established. Until you hear otherwise from Detective Humor myself, you will remain in this room. Acknowledge your compliance. I will comply. It is not advisable. I will comply. It's not possible this just happened. No. Most androids are created so as not to present any threat to humans, nor are they capable of doing what this one claims to have done. Okay, so the Delta was modified to behave destructively or believe that he did. The question is, by whom? Who would benefit from the death of seven human workers? At first glance, it's Meadows. He claimed the facility operated more efficiently with android workers performing all required duties. Make it as polite as you want, but the guy didn't want human workers there. Plan to blame what happened on human air. If he could pin it on unskilled human labor, he could justify going back to an all-android workforce. As Meadows pointed out, the destruction of the Delta supervisor was done by that same human workforce. And? And we have yet to determine the responsible party for that act. 
While the destruction of an android is regrettable, it's just a property crime. The law's clear on that. What we have is a multiple murder investigation that takes precedence. Press Meadows to the wall if you have to. David, I understand you and Olivia have separated. Are you all right? I'm all right. We just need some time. I know trust is a powerful motivator with you. Right now, I'm just going to focus on my work. Keep my mind off it. We will not discuss it unless you bring it up. Thanks. What are partners for? If not to not talk about things. 3675 North 81. Did you see those sports scores? No words can bring them back. But by our actions, we hope we can offer comfort to the families and friends and co-workers that those who gave their lives did not do so in vain. The company has agreed to institute new safety procedures and to begin negotiations immediately for a generous settlement. Thank you all. Thank you. If I could somehow program that Delta to kill those people, don't you think I would have erased the surveillance record showing it? Your android supervisor claims he deliberately staged the accident. I don't care what he says. His programming was jacked. It's possible someone could have overrode his bioethic. It would require a mastery of computer science, way beyond me. Either way, you had a lot to gain. You said so yourself. Yeah, well, what difference does it make? It's over. Even if someone messed with that android, we're never going to find out. Mike was a good android. I gotta decommission him. I gotta sell the other ones. Replace him with humans. In terms of this, this settlement. David, I have established that the Delta could not have been responsible for the gas leak. In order for the gas leak to have occurred the way it did, this outflow valve would have to have been turned on, and the second valve would have to have been opened within one second. No, no. Those two valves are separated. They require manual keying to avoid this kind of accident happening. Yes. Even if the Delta had jumped. <laughs> It would still have taken more than one second to have opened the other valve. Did he just do that? He said, special training. Yeah, because he eats a full breakfast every day, too. It also means the Delta couldn't have released the gas. Yes. It would have to have been two or more individuals acting in concert. No, there was only one android in that area. Movement records will prove it. Bodies of two human workers were found near the valve. Son of a bitch, Belisarius. He set up his own people. Bayless, where'd you find him? Three South, just where you said he'd be. He came pretty easy when we told him we knew about Belisarius. Put him in an interview. Get a statement. No problem. I'll call judicial. Hold off. Process him, but don't put him in the system yet. All right. Good work. David, hold on, everybody. So something is occupying a few gigs of the supervisor's brain. At first, I thought it was a patch, something designed to override the android's core bioethic, a way of circumventing the prohibition against harming human beings. But the data occupies too small of a space. Do you have an alternative explanation? I don't believe the modification allowed the android to harm human beings. 
I believe it was intended all along to make him think that he had, to make him think that he had done something that he couldn't have done. That would account for the conflict, the dissociative state. It would. And another reason I believe the androids' recollections are false is because they're stored in a discrete partition. It's not the normal space for integrated recollection. We should have another talk with Belisarius, the human dignity guy. Yeah. Why the labor leader? Why not Meadows? We have one of his people right now in holding. Turns out he's working under an alias. He's actually some sort of freelance memory technologist. Bayless is finishing up his statement right now as we speak. Is it conceivable that Belisarius arranged the deaths of seven of his own people and made the android supervisor appear culpable to support his ideological position? So, one of our most prominent citizens may be a cold-blooded killer. Talk to him, but be damn sure before you make any formal charges. Belisarius has a lot of unhappy people behind him, heart and soul. We may see a half a dozen levels burned out before this thing is over if we don't handle it right. Androids are not subject to irrational outbursts of destructive rage when faced with equivalent injustice. Under the circumstances, we should consider ourselves fortunate. beginning you're going to need people like me for what's to come drop it I don't think so drop the gun what you'd shoot me destroy a human life to avenge an android you wouldn't dare deadly force may only be used to defend human life drop the gun got your programmer. We know how he altered the Delta's brain to convince him and everyone else of his guilt. Why don't you just shoot me, Detective? Or are you afraid of what my people may do? Burn down half the planet if you do. Is that the way you want to be remembered? Better that than to be overwhelmed by machines. You killed human beings you claim to care about. What about their lives? Sometimes victory demands a sacrifice. That's where you people always lose me. Then do what you want with me. I, I, I haven't got what it takes to be a martyr. And that's what a lost cause needs. David. Element 131. Quite a settlement, Belisarius. I spent my life working for humanity. Oh, it brought me fame, but little else. <laughs> I'm losing the battle. Each day, machines dominate more and more aspects of our lives. That's why I wanted the 131 to finance a, a whole new fight. I, 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 I need an end off for my last public appearance for my disgrace. You thought you could run. I thought perhaps I wouldn't have to. 
Well, money wasn't my motive. Those men died because I knew that without such a dramatic depiction of the truth, the cause would be lost. So you saved the cause with a murderous lie. No, it wasn't a lie. It, it was a regrettable necessity. I'm sorry, sir. Quick acting neurotoxin. Well, at least I could die like a human. I'm not afraid. We need medical assistance. Oh, there's no antidote. That's the whole point. A final decision must be final. Well, you know I'm right. Soon there'll be no use for humans. We've made ourselves unnecessary. I'd have, I'd have died with those men if I thought it could have helped. I wanted to make others see the dangers. What well, you do believe me? One of the android lovers before it's too late. Mm-hmm. 